<clears throat> hey, what's going on, everybody? So, this one, I had, okay, so this one, this one's stupid, alright. I had a, another dream movie at a movie theater downtown at a mall with an old friend giving someone um, a ride, but I don't remember why or who it was and then I guess um I stayed in like the arcade area and that stuff. It was weird. It was like a different theater. It was like a plaza in the south side that was made in imagine like just, it was all imaginary and that stuff. And it was like weird cuz like it was like one of those like big like parking lots and in the corners like you know that's the theater and then in the middle there's like uh you know like just some random like business and stuff but there's like this Adobe rail walkway and that stuff like a stairway for handicaps and that stuff and like I just remember like chilling around there inside there's like a wall and then there's like a like you know handicap thing going to the left side and there's stairs on the top but then like in like one side of the hallway on the left was even a bigger room which was the concession stand or like the arcade or like sit the place where you sit to eat food and all that stuff or like the booths are on the right over on the other side of the wall and that stuff and then there's the stairs I remember chilling there, and then there was like popcorn and that stuff. I remember that dream quite well, man. But I don't know. It was just, it was just like, you know, it was like a place I've never been to, but it it felt real. So that was kind of cool, especially <laughs> when there's like familiar faces in the dream. And then um, had two other movie theater dreams: a scary theater one, the only that there's a theater that only played horror movies. It was on the out. It was an outside theater, four theaters, top four on bottom, black metal staircase, and a tip ticket vendor before hitting the stairs. So this was kind of weird. I mean, it was kind of outdoor, not really outdoor. It was like picture like a New York apartment complex, and then like in the middle is a ticket booth stand. Like there's a stairway that goes up, and then it turns into like a Y, like it spreads out or a T. And then basically there's four theaters, there's two on the right side, and then there's two in the back in the first floor. And then when you go up the first staircase, and then you take a left or two right, there's two on the top, one here and one here. So it was kind of weird, but they only played horror movies. And it was cool, it was a cool dream. Like, I don't know, but it, just, it was just like, you know. Um, yeah, it was a black metal staircase. It was, like, one of those, like, you know, metal staircases where it has, like, you know, those bumps on, like, the line, I guess, if it gets frosty. And, like I said, the ticket vendor was right below in the middle of the stairs. So, and it was, like, outdoor theater or whatever. Um, then I soon had another dream entering a nine-story mall, which was weird. I mean, like, nine stories. That's kind of crazy. Um, where I worked at a Taco Bell in a... Churros chicken. I remember working with some cute chicks, always telling me I'm late. Seeing a movie with dad who wouldn't shut up, but that's because he didn't like the kids' movie that was playing. Also, remember. Remember it raining? I remember ru oh, running around. In the game stores. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this. Okay, so in the nine stories and all stuff, so there was like this huge mall and there was a theater. We went to go see stuff, but dad wouldn't shut up. It was a big theater. It's weird because when you walk in, it's like you walk in the middle and that stuff. And then like it separates, like it's this huge room. It's weird because there's like three entrances one on the top right, left, or top, yeah, top right, top left, and middle. And then like the stairs, like they're not like just go down the stairs. It's more like, you know, like huge square flat platform so I mean like it's a wide freaking screen I mean it's like really freaking huge man it's not it's not one of those IMAX it's a lot bigger um shoot what else man uh yeah it was crazy man it felt it felt weird I mean like way too IMAX uh I don't know I can't really say so because it felt like it was more like sound it sounded like it was in a box because there was a speakers there speakers on the top like you know like it wasn't like it was all like boom you know like a wave it was just more like a, a flash mob if you can explain like what kind of sounding it was weird because like I don't know but it was all top top corners 
This is where the speakers were. Anyways, I remember running in like the nine story and I don't know what floor it was, but I remember there's this hallway and then it went to like a wooden floor and this is where they saw like TVs, they saw like remote control cars, all like that stuff. And then they had like um it was a game store or something like that. And then I remember running around in it and then for some reason because they had like those mall motorcycles like that stuff for kids and stuff, I was like on like so that was on like a real motorcycle like that stuff and I was just like I don't even know what the he how the heck I got a motorcycle in there. But yeah, man, it was crazy. It was just like just making donuts and all that stuff, like in the middle and all that stuff. Um, and then seeing a movie with that. Okay, so there, and the toast, name me dirt bikes. Yep, and then mobbing into the elevators, riding around the place on Black Friday, soon entering a monster drink clothing store, and then an old CD store, and then. A Lego store, and then bought some stuff with credits. Um, cute gotcha, worked in CD store. Okay, 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 okay. So, this was like at the end of the night. We spent basically the whole day in the mall. I don't know who it was, but basically my family. Um, I don't remember who, though. Um, I think maybe my aunt was picking us up. And then, like, uh, so we're all, like, chilling, all that stuff. Like, in like, it was weird, because there's this one exit or entrance where it's like a square room and there's like two like square pottery plants these are huge pottery plants that are holding bushes and then like there's this other room like this left side has a monster room it's like a monster clothing store and anything that's like sponsored by that stuff like paintballs and that stuff it was cool um and i remember i think i got like one of those like dirt bike shirts i like that stuff with like a fox just like that, I was like that was cool. Um, and then I remember I was just like chilling at the side, and then I remember I went to the other side, which was further back up the stairs, and they take a left in the corner, and then there was a CD store, and then there was like this like really hot chick that worked there, and it was like kind of like a type of negative, kind of gothic kind of store. It was more gothic than than CD store, but they had like a lot of cool CDs and that stuff. Then I remember they had like horror story books and it was like, you know, scary dead trees, like that stuff. Like it was like, you know, it wasn't dead trees around. But the weirdest part was is that it kind of smelled um, old and herbic and like, you know, like knickknacks, if that makes sense. If you've ever been to, I guess, like one of those pawn hippie shops, I guess. It was weird and it was dark and gothic more. And I guess it smelled like dirt, dead dirt. I guess if I can explain it, like dirt from the ground. <laughs> um But the chick was hot. Yeah, she was hot. Um uh, big city, I lived was on the city that was built on top of a ledge and it was Chinese. Um I guess I can explain a quick quick simple of this story about it, it was a big city that was built on top of a ledge. It was in Chi was Chinese. So it was like a mountain. Um, there's this one place, this is a different dream, um, total different dream, nothing to do with malls, theaters. Um, this has to do with a kind of city or a village or town and that stuff, but it was more like a city because it was weird because it was like a mountain and a ledge and there was actual stores and it was like a city built on the ledge. And like, you know, you go down and you keep going down like a car, like a zigzag, but there's still like, you know, businesses on the freaking ledges and that stuff. So it was like, you know, it's sketch, but it looks so cool. Cause then it has like all the Chinese, like, um, you know, like those knickknacks that you hang up on the stuff. I don't know what you call those, but like you hang up lights and decorations and that stuff on like, um, I don't know what you call it, but that's basically what, what it was hanging on. It was crazy because it was like, it looks like an actual city and then you could like zip line down and all that stuff. And I remember, um, there's more to the dream. Like I remember going to this casino because like my grandmother lived and like you just take a, it was like a left turn and then a, a full straight and then it was like right there. But the casino was cool. It had like just mini arcade games. I remember some stupid mini basketball game that I kept playing. Um, and then it disappeared, and then uh, that zombie dream next. But that was a whole different story. But that was that was a cool dream. Um, till next time. Uh, yeah.